Now to the Israeli-Hamas war waging on in the Middle East. Today, President Joe Biden traveled to Tel Aviv. The president met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, pledging full support for Israel and denouncing $100 million in humanitarian aid for Gaza. Israel saying they will agree to let that aid into southern Gaza. The Palestinian people are suffering greatly as well. We mourn the loss of innocent Palestinian lives. Meantime, a family from Livonia is still stuck in the Gaza Strip. After trying to escape the war, we first told you about the Al Araishi family last week. And tonight, we are hearing directly from them. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is speaking to the family's attorneys as they work to bring them home. From a cell phone in Gaza. Good morning. My name is Zakaria Al Araishi. I'm an American citizen. Zakaria Alaraishi, who has called Livonia home for the last 23 years, is making a desperate plea to the U.S. government. Life here is so bad. I can't handle it. I can't handle here. Uh, this is no life here. I, I can't sleep. I bomb everywhere. I can't sleep. Every minute I count, I gotta be dying next minute. For the last 12 days, Al Araishi and his family have been stuck in Gaza after going to visit family just days before the Israel Hamas war broke out. He says they're now out of water, food, and constantly in fear of being bombed. We have to drink salt water. I'm, I'm not, I don't take shower like now. 12 days, no shower, no shave, no nothing. Food now, now hard to find the food. If you have the money, we cannot find food because this is gone. His children here in Metro Detroit, working with attorneys, filed a lawsuit in hopes of urging the U.S. government to provide the same evacuation support to citizens trapped in Gaza as they are to those in Israel. Just days after filing that lawsuit, attorneys for the Al-Raishi family say they've now learned of additional U.S. citizens trapped in Gaza, from Houston to California, and that could mean additional lawsuits will be filed soon. Well, we're calling upon basically for them to evacuate them. Give us a plan of action. How are we going to evacuate these United States citizens? Mm -hmm. You know, one life is not worth more than another life. Attorney Nabi Ayad says the family managed to make it to the Rafah border crossing near Egypt, but have been unsuccessful in getting out. But when you consider 90% of the border is controlled by Israel and a, a, a very close ally to our United States, as well as the other 10 or 20 percent controlled by Egypt, another ally of the United States, mm -hmm. there's something the United States can do and they can easily uh, talk to our close allies and tell them make way for these individuals to get out. Tomorrow, attorneys for the al family will be back in federal court again working to get that concrete plan of action from the Biden administration. Reporting here in Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Certainly hope they will be able to come home safely. Thank you, Whitney.